In the standard model of particle physics, fundamental particles are grouped into one of two categories, either bosons or fermions. The name boson was derived from the surname of the Indian physicist Satyendra Nath Bose to commemorate his contribution to the fundamental theories of particle physics. In the same way, the surname of Enrico Fermi, best known for his drive in the building of the first nuclear reactor, is used for the class particles of fermions. Some composite particles can be classed as either fermions or bosons, but the terms apply to all fundamental particles. A fundamental particle is one which cannot be broken down any further. It is not composed of smaller particles, or at least, if it is, we don't know about it yet. So what are these fundamental particles? What are the bosons and the fermions? Well, the bosons include the four force-carrying particles of the standard model, these being photons, gluons, and the W and Z bosons. There is also the recently discovered Higgs boson, Proposed in theory, but not yet discovered, are the graviton, responsible for gravitational attraction, and the X and Y bosons. The gluon is an exchange particle, responsible for the strong interaction or strong force. The exchange of gluons between quarks binds them together so that they can form larger particles, such as protons and neutrons. Photons are the force carriers of the electromagnetic field. W and Z bosons are the force carriers which are involved with the weak force. The interaction of these bosons with the Higgs or the Higgs field is responsible for their mass. The Z, W and Higgs bosons are far more massive than any of the fermions, than any of the quarks or leptons. The names of the fermions might be more familiar. These are all of the quarks and leptons. A link at the end of this video and in the information below will take you to quarks and leptons for beginners. There are 24 quarks and leptons altogether. Most importantly, the up and down quark and the electron and neutrino. Combinations of the up and down quarks produce neutrons and protons. Uh, two downs and one up for a neutron and two ups and one down for a proton. Electrons are fundamental parts of all atoms, occupying energy levels surrounding the nucleus. Neutrinos pervade the universe, streaming out from our sun as a consequence of all nuclear actions and reactions. Every one of these particles has an antiparticle and that's why there's 24. The defining property of bosons is that there is no restriction on the number that can occupy the same quantum state at the same time, and they all have integer spin, that is 0, 1, 2, and so on. All fermions have half integer spin, that is a half, one half, two half, and so on. In addition, only one fermion can occupy a particular quantum state at any given time. If there's more than one in the same space, then at least one property of each fermion, such as its spin, has to be different. Going back to the basic definition of a boson and fermion, remember that the boson has to have an integer spin, whereas the fermion has to have a half integer spin. Using these definitions, larger particles, composite particles, such as hadrons and mesons, even nuclei and whole atoms, can also be considered to be either bosons or fermions. That is because of the dependence of the definition on spin. For example, all hadrons contain three quarks, and each quark has a half spin. Since they have three quarks, each hadron must also have a half integer spin. Furthermore, it still follows that if an atom has an odd number of nucleons, remember a nucleon is either a proton or a neutron, so it has an odd number of nucleons, it will have an odd number of quarks, and therefore it will have a half integer spin, and so it will be a fermion. Conversely, an atom with an even number of nucleons, that's an even number of total of protons and neutrons, 
will also have an even number of quarks, and therefore it'll have an integer spin. So all of those atoms, such for example as carbon-12 or helium-4, are bosons. Thank you for watching. You can get notes which you can copy by clicking the link to the website.